Hey what's up guys this is Freddy Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and this time I want to share with you a scene breakdown of this artwork where I have all of these little baby Nike logos coming to the mother Nike logo and of course it's a rigid body simulation in Cinema 4D 2024. It's fast and stable and I have so much fun with this right now. So this is a short breakdown of the artwork but just be sure that as always there will be more of the good stuff on my Patreon. I probably will do a longer version of this tutorial also where I go step by step through it for my patrons but now here for youtube i have the scene breakdown for you so let's just fire up cinema 4d and have some fun quick intermission here because i forgot to mention this in the tutorial here in this scene breakdown just be sure that in your cloner to set it up to multi instance i think at least that was my experience yesterday that this one will simulate and cache way faster than if you would have set it to instance okay so this is just better for your system in my opinion so try it out go for multi instance because I think this will just make it faster and smoother okay and now let's start the scene breakdown this time I want to just play a little bit more with rigid bodies you can see here these Nike logos they just come in really nice they slide on the floor and then they move around this big Nike logo like the mother of these children maybe okay Anyway, it's some nice movement and it's not that complex, but it looks nice. So this is actually often my approach in design that it doesn't have to be super complex, but you just have to have a nice idea. And for example, here, I just feel like this is um, a nice little animation with only a couple of design elements. I especially like the glass here. So look at these beautiful reflections. You could even make this, of course, more interesting by, for example, booling a hole into the floor and let this big Nike logo go up and down like I did it in the previous rigid body simulation. So this one is pushing up and down and will um, throw these little baby particles up and down also. Um, you could also, for example, let this one rotate or you could maybe make a duplicate of this Nike logo, invert it here and let them rotate around like uh, do it just with some crazy actions here. OK, so this is up to you. Yeah, I think this has a lot of potential. I just kept it really simple here. And I think we should just dive into Cinema 4D and have some fun. All right. So here we are in Cinema 4D and actually I used the latest version 2024.0.0. OK. And in this one, you get the new rich buddies. I think they are just faster than previously. And it's really cool because it's now part of the unified simulation system. So it works together with ropes, balloons, soft bodies, all of the good stuff in the soft body simulations, also with pyro. So it's nice that everything is working in one system. And right now I only work with rigid bodies in this scene and also in the last tutorial. But the plan is to mix soft bodies, rigid bodies, ropes and all of that stuff in an upcoming tutorial. OK, so this is the power of the unified simulation system. But as I said, today we only focus on the rigid bodies and let's just go out of the scene here. Man, it looks like I'm using a toilet HDRI here. OK, so this one, <laughs> this one is giving some good light, actually. OK, so this is why I'm using it, but it's always kind of funny to see the background here. So, for example, you can just go into your dome and make the background invisible. So that's just a bit more friendly here. Anyway, the scene is pretty simple here. You can see that I built this element here. It's this one. And actually, first, I wanted to pull something out of it. So you can see that I used the same technique like glass time where I just use a bool object. This is the plane object. OK, it's called plane because I started with a plane, but then I made a shape like this one. So these rigid bodies, they just gently slide down into this area here, almost like something for skaters with a skateboard or something like that. OK, and originally I booled a shape out of it like this one here. Let's just see when I activate the bool. Yes, then you get this hole into it. So this could also be an option if you want to fill a hole with other stuff. Then you can do it, for example, with a bool to get a nice shape here. But then I decided that I don't want to do it like this, but I just want to put a logo on top of it. All right. I just want to have it here and they gather around this logo. 
what I did then is to build a field force into the scene. Okay, and the field force, you can see it here. I mean, this looks pretty wild, all right, but it's just the way that this one is set up. So um, when I go into the display, and this is how far out you can see it in the scene. So you can see now this field is growing, but actually the effect of this one will not be just in this box, but it will depend on the settings here. So when I put the logo, this element here into it, then all of these vectors, I mean, now it's really hard to see. So I just go over to display and just reduce the line density, for example, to something like that. Now you can see that all of these vectors, they come from the logo, they go into this direction of the logo. And this is why a force of attraction or also um, repulsion, is this the right word? When you push it away, yeah, you can suck it to the logo or you can push it away with this feed force and yeah when you just put the logo into it this element then now this force will work from this logo okay that's cool um let me just see it so yeah you can see it here and you can make the visible box here bigger and smaller to just get the visual representation but the actual effect of this one how far it reaches out into your scene will depend on when you click on the logo here on your element then you can for example go to this radius settings and now you can see you can make this force just here on the surface just a little bit so the elements have to be really close to be attached or pushed away from this logo but now you can just increase this radius for example to like 50,000 whatever and now it will work in the whole scene for example okay so this is the field force which is working here I just deactivate the visibility then I just put a turbulence into the scene and yeah you can see this there is some really nice turbulent movement in the scene okay which makes makes it just more organic and fluid and just looks nice. So if you want to have some extra noise into the scene to get like this organic moving pattern, you could consider to put a turbulence into your scene, all right? The size of this noise, like this movement here, for example, this depends on the scale setting of your turbulence. So if you would put this one to 300, then you will get a bigger movement, like a bigger noise on top of your scene, which will direct the movement a little bit. And then you just set up the strength how strong you need it in your scene okay so what i also did here these particles they start here and fall down but then i direct them a little bit from here more to the center so i want them more or less here and not go like this one straight down and how do i do that you can see it here just a little bit they are more angled towards the center also here you get this slightly diagonal movement here and i'm doing this one with a wind force on both sides so here is actually a wind which is blowing just gently from this side it has a wind power of 400 centimeters so it's quite strong but this will help you to just guide these particles to the center and then i fade the strength out from the inner area where the strength is at 100 percent to the outer area where it has zero percent so from here on i don't need any wind effector anymore okay so it's just here to push these outer particles particles into the center and I do the same thing from the other side and then you get a movement like this one anyway I think I didn't mention that of course you need collider tags on all of your elements which collide with your particles so you can see here on this plane object I have the collider tag also of course on the center logo here just put a collider tag on it and when I press NB then just be sure to give your geometry some resolution like this one for example here or also this one when I press ND then I can see it better I think this will help to prevent it from penetrations that these small logos go into it uh, at least that's what I think right now that this element should have some polygons here to just work better okay but i'm not totally sure i will double check this but just be sure to not make it like just one polygon i think when you set it up like this one with a bit more polygons it will help to make your simulation more stable and more reliable but yeah i need to double check this one all right so all in all this is what i did here maybe we can just quickly talk about the cloner setup here so you can see actually i have like eight different cloners all right Right. So I have like these boxes here and yeah, I just want to have some variation in the color. Okay, so 
I think when I set it up like this one, then you get like yellow and then the pink ones. And this is just a nice mixing here. So yeah, I think this is just cool to still have areas where it is all yellow and blue, but it is also mixing. And yeah, you just get the nice variation like this one. But this is totally up to you how you want to set it up. You can, of course, also, for example, put these ones behind it. Okay, so it doesn't mix that strong already here and they will come in like blue and behind it will be the purple and stuff like that so this is just up to you and it's just fun to play with it honestly so yeah what else can i say here i mean the particles you already can see it but i use like these tiny logos here okay and b to see them so you can see i made these ones a little bit more round and not as sharp as for example this one so this one is really sharp like the original logo vector but these ones i wanted to make them a bit more friendly it will also help with the collisions when this angle here and there is not super sharp so yeah this is why i did that and um yeah what else can i say here let's just go into the cloner let's see okay this is the amount of clones let's just also go into the tag here i think i reduced the thickness of it to 0.3 this one is originally on 1.5 but if you have it like this one with the thickness then there will be between your objects and your collision there will be like the safety margin around it like this invisible border to just help the simulation and when you do it like this then your elements will slightly levitate over your collider objects so just be sure to reduce this for example to something like this one you can also go lower with it but just be sure that when you go too low when you are too exact with your collisions between your rigid bodies and your collider objects then it can happen that some of them will fall through the floor okay and uh, it doesn't detect the collision fast enough because you only have like a really short collision margin for the system and then it could happen that some particles will penetrate through your plane or your collider object okay so just be sure about that and one last thing that i can mention here please play with the friction of your rigid bodies and also your collider elements so let's just see here i reduced the friction quite strong this will help the particles to really slide along it quite easily but when you have some friction then it will be more like yeah they could stay here or just slide a little bit or they will go like bum 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 something like this one like a stone okay could also happen so just play with the friction and this is playing always together between your collider objects and the friction in your rich bodies here okay so this will play together and yeah just play with it all right so this was a short scene breakdown here so maybe i will also do a step by step after this one but yeah for now i just did a little scene breakdown i still hope that this was helpful for some of you guys have an amazing day thanks for your time bye everyone